Hold on. Okay, guys. Come. This video is about two companies that I buy my MOSFET transistors from. Are transistors not only MOSFET transistors, IC and stuff like that. <clears throat> but this video is to show you two main companies that I really deal with from China that really sell me original part parts that really works well and the chip inside of them really you know matches the original part when I take it apart and stuff like that like you know and you know I like to crack open the chip and stuff like that so all right first the beginning with I have the mirror and I tape I use electrical tape, double it, and you know, put the parts on it so you guys can see. Alright, the first one here is a 1404, and this is the part. The batch, I don't know if the batch number will be the same when you guys are gonna harder them or stuff. As you can see, the chip size is really big. You take up almost the whole entire, you know, and this is the 3205. See the chip size? It's huge. And this is the 640 n mostly used for output. Yep. Let me see if I can give you a better view of it. That's the company name GNX IC Store. That's the name of the store. And this one is a 1404 from another company named MEI JIA IC2. And these are good too. This is the side of the chip matches with the same one over here. So I wouldn't, you know, whichever store you wanna buy from, yeah, you can, you know, they're good. I've been doing buying from them for like years, so you know, and they work for me, so you understand. All right. So look at the chip size of those, and look at this one that I buy the other day for. Oh boy, I tell you, this company. I don't know. When I, I don't wanna. I'm not gonna put your name up there or anything like that. Cause I don't want nobody to like, you know. So look at that. Look at the chip size. It's like a dot. And I put this in one a amplifier that I was working on. It, it was a Stetson amplifier, and this thing just blow apart, just cracking like three pieces. And I uses the the red the, another one that I use a um, older a, a savage one from a amplifier that I have. I put on. And that thing just warm, but something was shot, you know, but instead of warm and stuff like that, these will just blow apart because they can't, as you see the chip size, yeah, it will, it will not handle the pressure. It will break under pressure. These will handle it. As you can see the size of the chip, yeah, they will just eat up, eat up, eat up to a temperature and you'll have to know, yeah, something shot. You know, these, as you switch your amplifier and pop, it pops. So, you know, that's what I'm, you know. So this is what this video is about. So as you could see difference with the chip size inside this MOSFET. And the company name at the top. Yeah. And the chance that I buy from this company, yeah. So two different companies. But to me they are the same exact, you know, the, the chip size is the same exact, you know. And these chip size is not only like broad, they are like thick. They are like, I don't know how to measure it, how to tell you like, um, let me see the size of this one. Yeah, I would say, the, no, I wouldn't say, I would say like a cartridge paper. Yeah, or let me use something else that somebody, really, a lot of you guys really. All right, let me see now, I would say, a, you know this card a card yeah i would say the chip size is just is thick just like the a card yeah it's you know just like these card you know they give out for our people doing stuff like that print stuff for the advertiser company and stuff like that yeah as you could see but that's what i want to show you guys and you know a lot of people you know I told you I was running with a guy complaining about who I buy. But I'm not hiding anything. It's right here because I know he's watching, you know. So, you know, I don't care. 
you know, I, you know, some people just don't understand. I have a little time on my hand, I say, okay, let's just show some, you know, you guys, the company I buy, buy, buy stuff from. And so, this is it, as you guys can see. All right, and this is the really knockoff. This is the IRF B4115, mainly used for the output in Taramp and other amplifiers, Stetson, you know, you name it, Brazilian. But these ones are like it's a real knockoff. This one, and this batch is a it's a it's a B or B9 PO. Yeah, the, the chip inside of it is not, you know. And let me show you another one again, different one that I, I got here, which is the, well, and I don't have the other match for that one, jeez, where did I put it? Uh, well, let me see something here, guys. Let me try to match something up here for Oh, dear. that's good, that's good. All right. All right, this one is it. This one is the FDA 24N40. FDA 24 and 40. And you see the size of this chip? It's huge. You could see the silver piece? It's huge. And look at this one. A lot of people wouldn't know the difference, but there's a difference. One is wider than one. The silver piece is thicker. The chip inside is wider. But this is the aftermarket one this is the original one that came from the amplifier yeah so as you guys can see and fda puts it fda 24 n 40 and this one is the same fda 24 n 40 and this one or the fake one let me show you the front the facing of it this facing of this oh yeah let me show you guys something before uh, FDA, all right, right here. This is the aftermarket one that I got from the company. From my company, which I don't want, you know, I'm not gonna put the name up there, you know, just, you know, you never know. And this is the original one. So you guys, as you guys can see, original, and this is the fake, as I would say. It will work, but you know, it warms. This one warms really get, it get hot really fast than this one, as you guys can see. You guys can see even the difference in the making. So I would say good and bad, but listen. This still work for a lot of reasons, you know, a lot of stuff. I use this in, it doesn't eat up as much as, you know, it should. But some, I don't like to use this in a lot of amplifiers. You have some amplifiers put it in and they work really perfect, but not like this one. This one I have a bunch of them too. And these work like really, really good, you know, you know. Any amplifier put this in, it works. Not like this one, this one will eat in some amplifier, it will overeat. You know so and these some of these come in fake that look just like this it come in fake too so yeah guys I just have to be careful man and you don't just keep keep doing you know search research and stuff like that and you know to see you know most of how it goes you know for people who buy these most of and how they work how it works for them and stuff like that but you know for me I'm just sharing you know what works for me what don't work for me so that's it and I did have a 14 uh, that I go, did want to show you guys. We have two, but they match, they, they look the same. These are two original ones that I got from. So this one is from an uh, amplifier. It's a, uh, uh, that's amplifier name again. It's, uh, not remembering it. But this one is from a, uh, iPhone amplifier and this one was burnt so I crack it open and look at the size of the chip because I ordered some new ones for it and I want to match it up when they come in all right so this is one from the iPhone and it's a 04 I have 
zero four hen. All right. And this one is from this amplifier. It's the amplifier name. Let me see uh, if I can remember. Uh, this one comes from which the twenty four inch where it come from. I, it's a C yeah. It's a CT sound. A CT sound? Yeah, this one comes from a CT sound. It's one of those big ones, though. Yeah. And the chips, it look about good. I, to me, I wish it would be bigger than this, but you know, but yeah, it works. It works one. It's, you know, that's the one that comes inside, but you know, it works. I tell you, it really works. So. That's it guys for this video, as I can, you know, yep, that would be it for this, and these are the, I'm going to show you one guys that's really messed me up today when I crack it open, and there's a one that, let me show you something guys real quick, let me up, put this right here. Okay, so the other day I got a repair with one of those, um, I think it's a QSC amplifier with, that uses the 2SA1943 and the 2SC5200. 50, you guys can see 5200 these so I was the amplifier was giving me a problem I'm like why is this amplifier keep blowing keep blowing these that I have in my hands and I was like I don't understand them. I was like everything was right everything but keep blowing them so what I did I hired some from another company which I didn't have enough. I didn't have enough. I just had the exact amount to, you know, replace and put it in and everything works fine. Nothing. Only to crack one of them today and find out the chip inside of it is like, look at that. Can you imagine? The little chip is right there. And look at the big old, the, look at that. Look at the big. The rest of this just left for like, I don't think it's about what, heat sink or something, I don't know. But that's the size of the, you know, the chip that was in there. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. This big transistor has that little chip inside of it. I was like, wow. So this is why it was, you know, it keep overheating and stuff like that and keep blowing and I could, you know. But you never know. So that's why I said that, you know, I really have to make this video about these, you know. Let you guys see what's going on inside of these MOSFET and these transistors, you know. So, that's, that's it for this video, guys. And, you know, if you want me to crack open and not any other MOSFETs or stuff like that, let me know. And I'll do it for you, and you know. I buy them, I'll do the test for you. Crack them open, see what works, see. The size of the chip and let you guys know what you're working with you understand you know sometimes you know it's overheating and you think oh, it's something with the amplifier no it's just a chip you know it, 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 it can't stand up to the, the pressure of the amplifier so it's gonna just blow you know you just switch a power you're working on amplifier you switch a power supply on and you feel them it's just getting warm and if you hook it up to the sink and everything everything work and it will play but it it's, the amplifier will always be like overheating, but it will play. But you know, after time, it will just burn down. But this cold to the touch. When any amplifier put it in, cold to the touch. I put tar amplifiers, Stetson, you know, 
so digital they, you know it's cool to the touch so not like this one here that keep popping out like man yeah this is just like the one with the the number on it which is the seven seven same size chip inside of it let me see if i see it right i did have it here i must have show it all because i was so peace when i saw the, the size of the chip now i just wonder why those mustard keep popping but you know guys you never know until you know you know yep we still have a lot of problems with chip like this in jamaica and i tell you but you know you learn a lot over the years and stuff like that yeah some other time i'll show you the resistance and the capacity and you know reading of these MOSFET but you know for now I'm just showing you what you're working with when you buy some MOSFET you know like look at that comparing to that comparing to that comparing to that you know that's it guys for this video that's it for now CNC electronic sales and repairs repairs and sale whichever way you guys want to put it thank you guys if you like what you see please like and subscribe to my channel I really appreciate it and thank you guys for watching God bless